Hey everyone, Etho here again. And uh, there's been no changes on the mob system um, in a few days now. Uh, we'll get to that again later. Uh, we're going to spend another episode or two in the nether though and finish up uh, the 360 cannon, I think. So uh, let's head over there now. I've done a little bit on it since... Uh, Last episode. And I've noticed something. That uh, the longer I stay in the nether in one point, uh, the fewer zombie pigmen there becomes. And the more gas that spawn. Oh, that guy's close. Can anyone explain to me why uh, sometimes you shoot them directly and nothing happens? Alright, whatever. I shot that guy, I'm pretty sure dead set. Can't remember if I had the wood there last episode, but I was just uh, trying it out. I was having trouble with the. Uh, gas destroying the floor. So, should be fine now. And I've made one large addition. Actually, let's... You guys are complaining about the sound. I added a very simple track in the nether. Very simple. Point A to point B and back again. But I actually have this set up pretty cool. So underneath this cart is a pressure plate. And this here is a Dot M 77's uh, Mies switch. And I'll put a link in the description to, to check out his video. But basically there's a minecart with a switch underneath a stone pressure plate. And the way I have this wired, uh, if I'm in this cart, no cart comes to take me away. If I hop to this cart, no cart comes. It's only if I hop from this one to this one will I get sent away. So it's pretty cool, I think. And same with over here. If I'm on this pressure plate, nothing happens. If I'm on this one, nothing happens. If I hop from here to here, nothing happens. But only if I hop from here to here. Because you would come up the ladder, go here. And then get sent off. Um, there's a new uh, patch coming out that's gonna make all this irrelevant pretty much, but I'll show you how it works anyway. Just in case you're interested. So yeah, that's that's the. Dock M77's Mies, there's just, uh, these are half slabs all around, and a stone pressure plate underneath this cart. So we have two stone pressure plates, one there, one there. And then this is the, uh, well, let's, let's look at it run from in here. That's, uh, blah, blah. Whatever his name is, door booster. Door opens, cart goes, comes around, back. This one goes around. So that's how that works. Then over here I have a little hole to go down. And there's a redstone torch underneath the door directly. 
And then I have a uh, kind of like a hybrid and gate here. There's two wires here. Um, yeah. First one's over here. There's one pressure plate directly above this one, the, the Mies. And that heads to a repeater with the four delay. Goes down another repeater with the four delay. And it goes to this redstone torch here. Uh, the other pressure plate is directly above here. And it goes to the torch and then it goes to the door. So all you need is like an AND gate and you need uh, two repeaters for the Mies uh, pressure plate. And that what this is doing, the reason for the delay is just to give uh, the pressure plate because uh, you go instantly from one to the other so both are pressed down at the same time. And so what you're doing is you're just giving it enough time for one the pressure plate you hop from to go back up and that's what the delay is for just a short delay uh, I found four torches wasn't enough of a delay so you need I think five or six and I just have it set at eight here to be sure um, yeah so that's that but there's a new patch coming out with boosters properly implemented so not sure how useful any of this will be. Got my runaway minecart now. It gives a pretty good boost. This is about 90 blocks long, this track. Not quite sure how far it'll uh, push you. And the booster just goes for 5 blocks here. And then goes back. And then resets. But anyway, that's not what we're going to be doing today. We're going to be working on the cannon again. I'll show you the progress I've made since last episode. I ran out of glass, but I got some more now. I got 16 stacks cooking as I speak. So, shouldn't be a problem anymore. So that's kind of what I got built right now. Just gonna store some stuff. And let's take a look down here. It's kind of a little glass case all around. I'm a little confused if this is north. I'm pretty sure it is. You guys said to look for the L. But it points two directions, so I don't know which one I'm supposed to be looking at. But I found that the TNT jumps mostly this way. And I'm not sure what other direction it jumps to. If it's either to the left or to the right, slightly. But I'm going to try build this cannon so it doesn't matter uh, what direction... Uh, you build it because I don't like uh, designs that are direction dependent. Oh no way! No way! We have company. What's going on here? That's awesome. <laughs> oh, how can I kill these guys? Hey. Hey, get back here! Okay. You guard the cannon while I'm away. <laughs> That's awesome. So I guess a few are still spawning, but... It might be because I was moving around. But it's mostly just gas. Okay, so let's get to work. I'm going to try to uh, finish up this cannon before we do anything else in my LP. Um, plan is to finish this up and uh, have a few uh, test launches and then 
Then I'm going to build another 360 cannon in the normal world. And while I build that, I'm going to make a tutorial on how to build a 360 cannon. And once that's all done, I'll uh, release my world again, and you guys can play around with it. So that's my plan. He was aiming for you, dude. Uh, yeah, so... I'm gonna work on it some more, and I'll give you some updates, hopefully. I gotta add a... There's gonna be two booster racks, I think. I don't think I need three. So, I'm gonna work on that right now. Okay. So this here is the first booster rack. This uh, inside ring, this outside ring is for the shells. Which go in this gap here. So above the first ring, we're gonna make no shoving. We're gonna start making another ring. I'm gonna leave enough space so I can walk around on this ring. So it's gonna be a little bit different than my original design. The second ring is gonna be one block higher. So I think I think I would put it here. Probably shouldn't bother with torches because they'll just get blown up anyway. Um, what's this from? It's a little bit hard to imagine right now. Oh wait, how do I get out of here now? Ah. Of course, I picked the side with the ladders on. Dang it. Ouch. I usually don't even pay attention to those guys anymore, I'm so used to them. It's weird, if you spend some time in the nether, it's like not freaky at all anymore. Especially if you have iron armor on. And a bow. Oh man, he almost hit my glass. Oh, actually, I need this ring to go up one more. Shoot! He hit my glass. Actually, I think I'm gonna... I don't think it matters if the glass gets destroyed, but I think I'm going to make it... extend out one more block. Although I would prefer it doesn't get wrecked.
so annoying. Okay. And this is going to be higher in here. It's going to be more than too high. It'll probably be at least four. Because I don't like it all claustrophobic like. I think I have to kill that guy because he's going to be a problem. Gotta be kidding me. Mm. Alright, I'm gonna stop it for a sec. Okay, so I ripped the ceiling out a bit here. Uh, you got it raised up one more. Kind of for safety. And I realized that I really shouldn't be coming down the center there because uh, that's where the two booster rings are one's here the other one's here so I made another tube here um, probably just temporarily and I'm gonna get rid of uh, going down here So wire will be placed around where I'm standing right now, and this uh, this will be gone. Because it's uh, it's in the way. I need the center free. Alright, I'll give you another progress report in a little bit. Just going for a TNT run. I watched like the video and I realized I wasn't using the Mies switch correctly, so... Just want to show you, when I exit the minecarts, I don't hop out here. I go to here, and then hop out. Just because I was explaining the pressure plates and stuff, I messed up the proper order. So I like uh, that this stuff can't get destroyed. Uh, at some point, I will make uh, my base look a lot prettier. I'll probably do astroturf and trees, and I might use some blue wool and stuff because I think that's what the nether is missing is blue. We're used to all the water. Make it a lot more homey. Once you get some color, I think like blue, green, you know, it'll start look a start looking a lot better. Oh that Gas is gone, that's weird. I'm not sure if they despawn like normal mobs. It's kind of strange. Wee! I only had uh, two stacks of TNT. I think I have like five total. I don't know where I put all my. I don't know where I put my stash. I think it might be at the firework cannons. Although I think I checked there and it wasn't there. I find it hard to believe I used that much though. Okay, I'm gonna create a world backup and I will be back. Okay, I got the world backed up now. I need to do a test here. I'm wondering if I need to make my uh, booster rings too high. Uh, in my original design, I did it as a guard so that uh, the TNT from 
the second or third ring wouldn't fall down and land on top of the first ring. I'm not sure if I actually tested if it's required. So we're going to find that out now. So it'd be better if I can make this only one high. So, I'm going to place uh, some wire. And some TNT. So if it falls down to the center there, it's good. If some of it lands on this first ring on top of it, that's bad. There's a good chance I'm going to blow up here too. Alright, so let's check it out. Uh, it seemed fine. Yeah, I think that was okay. Alright, so we're going to do another similar test, I think. This time I have a block in the middle of each uh, booster ring. And I want to see if any uh, land on on the center block there. Place a TNT. I think there's a gas line around here, so I'm going to do this fast. And... Seem fine. Cool. So I might have a center block too. Well. All right. Another major issue I'm having. Um. At some point, I'm going to have to get rid of this tube from the base to the, I don't know what you would call it, the deck or the control area, place where you stand. You'd never come down here once it's all built, but um, if you ever need to repair anything or just for me to build this down here, I need some way to get back up without preferably jumping in the lava. So I can't use ladders because they will obstruct the the uh, missiles so it won't be a technical 360 cannon if I have some sort of obstruction so I need some way to get up without having an obstruction. And I can't use water, because this isn't a nether. My original design, I used water. So I'm thinking I'm going to have to try to do something with boats. So I'm trying to figure out how high I can uh, get into a boat. And that's too high. Still too high? No way. Yeah, okay, I guess that's it. Hmm. Ouch. That is one, two, three, four, plus the one, that's five. Hmm, that's not very much. Hmm. The other thing is I need the boat to be far away from the explosions here. Because otherwise the boat will break. So that's why I got this like little off shoot here. 
Hmm. Something to think about. Alright, so I guess uh, that's about it for today. I'm going to wrap it up here. I did extend this out one more. And I'll, when it's all done, I'm going to replace this cobble stone on the outside with glass, of course. And probably a lot of this floor will be glass. A big majority of the cannon is going to be glass so that we can see all around us the best we can. And it won't be overhanging like this either. Uh, I'm going to try work on that boat issue to get a reliable way up and down. And yeah, so we'll dedicate another episode to this cannon, I think. And hopefully by then it should be done and we can move on to something else. But anyway, thank you for watching.